Hi, this is DH Dunn, and welcome back to Can I Lope 10 Days Naked. We are on day seven. And uh, I think, yeah, we're in Forlorn Muskeg? We're in the cave between uh, Forlorn Muskeg. Oh, did they fix the bug, or does it fix on a reload? One or the other. All right, so my memory is that I had to make a decision when I came in, which was how long am I going to sleep? Uh, because I don't have enough fire to sleep too long. I do have a little bit more coal. I think we've gone through the mine. What's my fuel situation is Zippo other than one more coal. I mean, I guess we'll go at least three hours and then check on things, right? Seems reasonable. Right now, the weather sounds terrible outside. Okay. And we could make this fire last three more hours. Our water situation. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Um, we could probably eat more of this now. Yep, that's good. Alright, let's do three. Alright, I think we have, yeah, a stick. Got a torch we could harvest. And then, maybe I go look for more coal? I mean, I'm pretty sure I went through a lot of this, uh, fire, or cave, excuse me, already. But, a quick, quick scan isn't gonna kill us. Oh, and there is this, did we, yeah, we harvested you, didn't we? Nothing to harvest, yeah, okay. I guess the carcass takes a while to go away. Well, there's a coal right there. It's another hour. Maybe I didn't pick up more because I was too heavy. What was past done thinking? Good grief. Only you knew how often I had to wonder that. Our brains are mysteries, folks. <laughs> um, okay, so that's a big loop. We can put this one. And put this coal in the fire. We're getting there. I just don't want to run around the musk egg in the dark in the cold. Uh, coal in the corner here. Use the lantern for a bit. So, as always, I'm still playing uh, with the intention of, you know, continuing this run. And so, you know, it's all about forging. And I've got some things carrying now. I just don't have the necessary tools. I'm sure at this point, I missed a hammer somewhere. guess that is a stick. Now you have become stick. You are also stick. Alright, now, um, damn it. I want to leave the cave. <sighs> <sighs> yep. 
guess well. He's fine now. He's only out of breath outside. He's fine inside. It has been bitter cold here lately, and I do find that sometimes when I'm walking around in the cold, I, I do... Anything for a drink right like, now. I don't get out of breath, but, like, it does, it does weigh on you. I don't start panting. But it does weigh on you. The one thing I want to say uh, thanks for to everyone is all the suggestions of different challenge ideas. I've been getting some good ones. My queue uh, of stuff that we can um, attempt is getting nice, nice and chunky. I like it. The last thing you want to do is sit down, you know, with a with one series about ready to end and think, oh gosh, what do I do next? I don't know. I don't have anything ready, and uh, that's not going to be my problem for quite a while. I appreciate it. Spent a good amount of time yesterday watching Zach's uh, playthrough of the new zone. His blind playthrough, and it was very interesting to see Zach on the back foot. You never see Zach on the back foot. And... Uh, that is that is a rough rough region. Sadly, I don't think we are gonna find anything else. I think we are tapped out on call. Oh, uh, by the way, I shut the music off. I'll explain why. Turn that back on. I usually keep it at about 80. So I'm like, where's the beautiful cave music? I love the cave music. All right. Uh, I think that is it for the coal. So be it. Um, we probably can grab one more hour. Um, make sure we drink. Oh, one hour. Apologies for the drinking noise. Alright, I guess we gotta let you go. Oh boy, I don't like it. Um, I'm thinking. So this, I think, was my dilemma. Was, do I let this match go? Do I let these hot teas go? I don't think so. I don't think so. Give me the flask, please. Transfer, 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 transfer. Drink that one. All right, let's see what the muskeg has in store for us. We may, uh, we may run into trouble here anyway with torches. Yeah, these all suck. I may have enough time to craft one if one is craftable. It is not. Now you can look right away and know, which I love. So, I think we're going to lose this match anyway. And if we're going to lose it anyway, maybe I don't bother leaving. Is 
That's assuming I even went the right way. I didn't. <laughs> Maybe we don't leave anyway. Oh, but we've got all our teas warm. Yeah. Gotta get lost in these stupid caves. I mean, I had this under control. <laughs> Why am I getting lost now? This is where we were. This is our fire. There's our charm again. Going in a big loop. All right, I'll go up to the top side. Roll to me. So I was going to talk about why was the music off. So the music was off because yesterday I streamed something called Will Stand Still. And if any of you come to see me stream on Twitch, uh, mostly in the afternoons, U.S. time, sometimes in the morning, but just in the afternoon, you might see me doing something called Will Stand Still, which is literally Will Standing Still. And I turned the music off for that because I have lo-fi going. And... Um, Wow. I use that as a writing sprint timer. So when I have Will Stand Still running, I'm writing. Uh, well, the torch is gone anyway, so most that ship has sailed. Um, and people hang out. Uh, they like to bet channel points and how long Will will live. We do a quiz. To, I, I hide where Will is when I move him before he stands still. I usually move him for about a minute get him into an interesting location and then people try to figure out where is he so like if you just popped up and all you saw was this would you know this was forlorn muskeg would you think maybe it's the birch forest in pleasant valley or you know ash canyon and uh, we have like a bingo that we do and so it's a it's a fun little uh activity it has kind of its own little community and um we have a good time. So you're always welcome to stop by if you see me running Will Stand Still. Just don't be surprised that Will is standing still. Um, normally, I stream the Long Dark on Twitch probably five nights a week. I take a night or two off just to break it up. Um, but most nights I'm streaming the Long Dark. And I usually stream about 6.30 Eastern. And I will stream for about two to three hours. I'm usually doing Loper. And uh, we have a good time there as well. And that's just standard. You know, I'm not standing still. <laughs> that's usually me and Astrid. I don't know that stopping to get all these mushrooms is my best move. I think what I need to be doing is getting to shelter. And the shelter I have in mind is not that close by. It is the bunker. And I can't get by it without getting by some wolves. So there is that. Now, I do kind of want to check the hunter blind. There's a wolf down there. I am going to have to goat anyway. This is a bit sketchy. This decision wasn't one of my best, I don't think. Goddamn freezing. Yeah, we're transferring you a T there, buddy. I may have to let the hunter blind go. Yeah, it's too far out of range. I don't really want Will to sprain right now, but he might. And I think this wolf, I will just walk if I get him. 
It's the next two I'm worried about. There's one by the bear cave, and there's one by the route to the bunker. We need fuel badly. There will be some coal at uh, Spengler's that we could use. Kind of wanted to use that coal for foraging. Always got to watch out for these freaking musk egg bears. Okay, that was a bark in a direction I didn't like want. I made it through another night. Yeah, I think I can walk him. I don't think I can make the uh, the bunker. I gotta lose this wolf before I stop to transfer a T. So cold. Just want to lay down for a bit. Ah, this takes too long. All right, when I get on the the log, I think once I get past the log, I should lose it. He come up here? He did. He's going for ptarmigans, though. Uh, William, where is your inventory? Here it is. Do do do. I should just transfer more than one. I'm just trying to use this to hold off frostbite. That's all. I don't even know if that works. Now that I think about it. Could you, Will? Could you? I have trouble with this log sometimes. Oh my god. Well, this is harrowing. <laughs> oh boy. This did not go as expected. Some place to escape this cold. That's what we're doing, Will. Oh yeah, frostbite goes away if you're warm long enough. Transfer another one now. All right, we cannot drink any more tea at the moment. I hate sprinting this much. We're almost there, but we can't go down yet. If we go down yet, we'll be stuck. And there's no way to get there through the ice that I'm aware of. We'd have to go back to the tracks. Try to avoid jerk face over here. Can you drink it, Will? can. Just like freaking chaining the T's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sing your song. We have to be careful around here, too. Can't feel my hands. Grab that. Oh. 
Oh, we can mag lens. Oh my gosh, that's so huge. <laughs> that is a huge help. No. Damn it. Will, start this fire. Come on, Will. I assume fire starting animations might come at some point considering the uh, harvesting animation showed up. I don't know though, it'd be harder to, to uh, work out. Wait. Got it. Let's just get warm. More coal. Please hurry, please hurry. Please hurry. Oh. There we go. Alright. I see that, uh, <laughs> that clothing that I can't use. It makes me sad. Might as well harvest this one too. Alright, let's give this a little bit of a look. This will keep the lamp burning. That, that is true. <laughs> well, Will knows what lamp oil is for. Oh, thank goodness. Wires and fuses, please. Make sure you give them to me. We are going to need to sleep soon. You are right about that, Well. Oh, this is good. This is helpful. This was a, supposed to be our foraging supplies, but, um, you know... Any port in a storm. Now, I don't want to forge. Time we got on that now, six. Uh, what have we here? Thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> Don't you know I'm naked? I mean, sure. I mean, sure. These aren't bad things. Deer? This stuff will come in handy. It might. Okay, um, gotta think about the, are these still, well, they're almost cold. Let's transfer the rest out. Put them, oh, damn it. I hate it when I do that. <laughs> Maybe we do coffee this time, because I don't think we're going to get a full sleep. I do want to get the safe before we sleep again. Um, gonna have to do that from outside. We might be warm while doing it actually though. Yeah, we are. That's nice. Uh, mid 20s. 23. Somewhere around seven. Or possibly four.
and then the last number is, you know, a thousand miles away. All right, the frostbite risks are healing. That's good. Could end up being useful. Uh, did we have a pry bar? I don't think we did. No, we didn't because I couldn't get into the damn gas station. A long way to go back just because I have a pry bar now. I don't know. Broken Rear Road is looking a lot more uh, enticing. Okay, do we do anything else before we sleep? We can't get the full sleep. Maybe let's eat a few things. Um, bang out some of this lower condition stuff in case we get sick. I guess, though, we can't sleep here for a long time, but we could get to the bunker from here. In fact, that's probably what we'll do, is we'll probably sleep like four hours here and then go to the bunker. Alright, well let's do the four anyway. Get all our frostbite taken care of. Weather permitting, I don't know, maybe we just push through the broken railroad. There's not going to be anything in the bunker. I know that. Uh, weather permitting did not happen. Still have two hours on this fire. We can probably run to um, these little spots here and there'll be some more coal. We're starting to get out of sync with daytime though, quite a bit. I don't know, we'll go check these quick. Grab sticks, naked Will. Come on, Will, you're on the home stretch here. I mean, we want to continue this run, but we don't want to blow the 10 days either. I'm actually kind of amazed he's not getting cold faster. It's cold, but it could be colder. Cold. No. Cold. Only close. Run, 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 run. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Falling into, the, I guess falling into the water naked wouldn't be that much worse than falling into the water with wet clothes on, or with clothes that then became wet because they would make you so heavy, they would freeze pretty much instantly. It might even be worse. You'd probably end up having to take them off anyway. Heading back. Time of day. About noon. Can't feel my feet. I know, well. Sometimes a carcass over here. Not this time. Oh, I thought that was a wolf, that rock straight ahead. I thought that was a wolf. Risk it all for this one stick. All right, we're back, 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 we're back. Okay, we're back. Why don't you 
read a book? Well, it depends. There's kind of three options from where we are. There's the bleak inlet cave, there's the bunker, and there is Broken Railroad. Obviously the bunker is closest. The bunker offers us nothing. There will be nothing in it. Broken Railroad and Bleak Inlet Cave, I think, are about about the same distance. Um, Bleak Inlet Cave might be a little closer. The Bleak Inlet Cave angles us more towards going um, into Mystery Lake. Which is probably safer. Have we been to Mystery Lake? We have. We've been to Mystery Lake. We've seen these places. We went to Trappers anyway. We went to we went to Camp HQ. So we didn't do the dam, but We're more likely to find a hammer in Mystery Lake. I'm starting to talk myself into that direction. I don't want to do it in this weather. So I think I either want to read or sleep. I think I'll grab one hour. Because we may be sleeping in the bleak cave. I think the bleak cave will be warm. I could be wrong. Weather decidedly did not improve. Fire is seven minutes from going out, so we will give you this firewood. This unclaimed wood there. Let's read. We're very close on cooking, aren't we? Aren't this one? No. Did we finish that one? I think maybe we finished this. No. Oh, that's fire starting. No, that was the Wilderness Kitchen. I thought we read a Wilderness Kitchen. I keep... Am I, am I keep looking at the same one? I wish they would show you how much you'd research without actually clicking it. Alright, whatever. Um, I'll go... No. I'll do an hour of this. That did not uh, change our weather. Do an hour here. The only location I could hope to reach in this storm is the, the bunker. I'm trying to avoid going there. Okay, good. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. This game, guys. It truly does surprise me sometimes. Okay, um... I don't think we want anything else from this fire. Uh, other than to maybe... Let's fill the thermos. Uh... Coffee? Other than torches. Like that. I'm going to throw a couple sticks in. So that I can get more torches out. As tempting as... Um, 
carcasses and mushrooms and things are on the way. I'm going to try to just go straight. I get easily distracted. There will be one or two loot spots that I'm going to check. But I'm going to try to make a mostly direct route here. So pretty. That deer there. I yeah. mean, the long dark is many things, but one of the things that I don't know that it's, I see brought up a lot is just what an artistic achievement it is. From a musical perspective, from an art design perspective, it's just a very, very strong piece of design. Everything always leans in the same direction for me, this kind of beautiful but stark isolation and just the, the power of nature. These were the two loot things I was going to check. This is the type of setting where I would easily miss loot. A lot of visual static. Visual static throws me. Now, you are not my friend. I would prefer not to deal with you at all. Thank you. Thank you for running in a very convenient direction. Your service is appreciated. One of the surprising things watching Zach's uh, playthrough was uh, the wolf behavior. The um, starving wolves or whatever, the, the toxic wolves in the zone of contamination, at least on one occasion, ignored the torch and just ran right at him. And that's, I think that's a good thing. I wouldn't like it if all wolves started doing that suddenly if they change animal behavior and now wolves don't care anymore or they sometimes don't care. But I like that. I like that there's an area where you know this won't work. Okay, the sunset is over. Ah, uh, do I check this cave? If I don't, I will always wonder what was in there. Puppy. When we're done here, I will have my own coffee. Will's getting coffee before me. This is unsatisfactory. Watching the videos back, one thing I have noticed, much to my chagrin, is that I do a lot of rocking in this chair. That's not a conscious uh, activity, this. I think I'm just relaxing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Zippo. Bupkis. Nada. Very well. After the bleak cave and sleeping in the bleak cave, we could also hit the uh, plane crash uh, and the antenna. I rarely, f or the helicopter, excuse me. I rarely find much in the helicopter, but I think I found up like a pry bar there once. So it, there's, there is a potential tool spawn. Be a good time for some music there, Long Dark. But nope. <laughs> Long Dark decides when it's time for music. 
Imp Mike Cord. Right, like I said, I am not taking mushrooms and goodies. Heading directly to where I want to go. Which is here. I will grab these rose hips, though. I say, as I walk right by them. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that was drama-free. Nice. You used to be able to crouch down and pick these up before, but they fixed that. Can't get them anymore. Had a great time last night playing Medieval Dynasty, which has some TLD vibes to it. It's more of a crafting building game uh, and maybe a village management game. It's almost more like maybe like if RimWorld was first person a bit, but I uh, played it with my pals, the Hobbits, which is a uh, very tiny burb, the Peach Bee, and Corwin Thistle. And... Uh, Doing it in celebration of Very Tiny Burb's birthday. And it was a very good time. Very fun. I recommend checking it out. I think it's on Game Pass. If you have Game Pass as an option. I also plan on playing a little Baldur's Gate 3 later today. For my own enjoyment. Now, what I, we are cold in the cave. That's so disappointing. Even with warming up, we are cold. In the I kind of thought that would end up happening. How cold? Not tremendously cold. Uh, but we'll have to see how things look in a few minutes. Um, we'll check the rest of it. Will is so dramatic about everything. Don't know this cave that well. I need to drop something. Nope, we need to pick things up. <laughs> um, getting that insulated uh, bedroll, I think, would have been a strong move. I think I should have focused on that early. All right, now we can see how cold are we going to be. Well, we need, still need to subtract. I forget how much the torch adds. Two? The torch had two C? We will figure it out. Bleak Cave, what's up with the coal? Okay, there we go. I'm not going to bleak. All right. The kicker is, though, I don't really want to put the torch out. Wait, you know what? We could test this. We could science this without putting the torch out. Put the torch on the ground. Walk away from it. We can still see it. Minus three. Okay. Go pick it up. Zero. It gives you three. So the real air temperature is minus three, and our bedroll gives us plus four. So I think we should be okay. This looks good. Oh, and another coal. Pack it in here, Will. 
think we should be okay. Just, just chuck that stupid thing. Okay, bedroll. 3.5. Okay, so we're just over the line. Uh, we don't need the, the rest bonus. Uh, we don't need to heal. So I think what we can do, first off, let's just eat some of our heavy food. Is, uh, we'll just sleep an hour at a time. Just keep it careful. Give me the food. Sort the food by weight. The pies weigh more than the, the dog food? How much the peaches weigh? Just eat those. Alright, there we go. And a drink. And a whole bunch of short sleeps. Keep an eye on things. In case the air temperature in the cave changes. I don't know if that happens. I think the changes would be so subtle that if you had clothing on, you wouldn't know. Okay, uh, minus 3C. So far, it stays stable. Still minus 3C. I might risk a two hour sleep. All right, I feel confident now, but we can only sleep another hour or so. So, might as well. All right, now I guess we just kind of hang out for daytime, except we'll get cold. Well, we can pass time in the, uh, still minus three C, okay. Let's pass two hours. For every two hours of time passed, you can sleep one. I'm staying here until it's light out. Pass two. You are not, I said pat, oh, I didn't say pass two, sorry. And we have so much calories uh, of food available. Okay, that should be good. That should be good. Big drink. Check on the recording time quick. Yeah, I think this is probably a good spot to call this one. I'm going to sleep one hour just for the save. We'll get a time on it. And, uh... You know, this has been an important step to towards reaching our ultimate goals. Uh, we did not find a hammer today, but we are headed towards uh, locations that can keep us alive. And uh, we're, tomorrow we're going to go up to the antenna. We're going to check the helicopter. And uh, then we will head back into Mystery Lake. And now we can go to the dam, uh, which we have not been to. Uh, I'm pretty sure we haven't been to it. Uh, when I... Damn it, don't do that. When I check the locations, let's see. Mystery Lake, we've been to... Rail Tunnel, Camp HQ, the uh, Fire Tower, Trappers, and uh, the cave. That's it. And then we left. So, now that we have the pry bar, we can get... I don't know. Actually, that doesn't super help us because mostly the lockers are just going to have clothes. But the dam is a really good option for looking for the hammer. So that, I think, is going to do it for this one. Thank you very, very much for watching. I'm happy to uh, hang out with you guys again. I'll see you tomorrow with more Long Dark. And that's going to do it for me. Stay safe, take care of each other. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.